All quiet at the moment, but Wimbledon is readying itself for its annual fortnight of top-class tennis, with last-minute arrangements on and off the court being made. The All England Lawn Tennis Club prides itself on its appearance, covering every blade of grass and leaving no stone unturned. As for the players, they've been testing out the practice courts, where fresh from completing the career grand slam, Novak Djokovic is still hungry for more. I'm very proud and very thrilled to, to be able to uh, you know, hold all four grand slam titles at the same time. It's, 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 it's a, a, a remarkable achievement for, for my team and I, but uh, you know, we're moving on and it's, it's back on grass now and uh, starting, starting from scratch. And I think it's great that we're behind a corner we, we have Wimbledon you know, back back to back Grand Slams in less than a month. Uh, that, that that will definitely make me make me focus and, and 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 stay determined. So, final preparations underway to make sure Wimbledon is looking its best ahead of the start of the championships. Djokovic and Serena are again favourites to retain their titles, but there is a queue of players ready behind them to claim the major honours. Andy Murray is seeded second for the tournament in the men's side and is favourite to meet Djokovic in a third straight Grand Slam final. Murray's losses in Melbourne and Paris have since seen the return of Ivan Lendl to his coaching team, which will no doubt give him hope he can add a second Wimbledon title to his collection. The big serving Milos Ryanich is another who has a multiple Grand Slam champion in his corner. Under the watchful eye of coach John McEnroe, the Canadian is targeting a strong showing on grass. We have a few differences uh, in personality, but we're very similar in a lot of ways. Well, he's more outspoken than I am about a lot of things, probably everything. The ominous sight of Roger Federer back from injury and out on the practice courts at SW19, showing no early effects of the back problem which kept him out of the French Open and looking for a first Grand Slam since 2012. Roger's return is seen as a warning for the rest of the draw, who are wary of facing him on his most successful surface. Interesting to see how is he going to deal with uh, with this, uh, you know, his his uh, way back into the into the tennis, and uh, definitely he's the guy that is most dangerous. Roger can can play amazingly well here in Wimbledon, and uh, definitely again a very interesting year in front of us. Dominic Thiem was a surprise winner on grass against Federer in Germany earlier this month, a victory which has given the Austrian new confidence. I mean, I feel a lot better on grass than last year, so I'm really looking forward. For me, it's a, it's a lot of fun to play on grass, especially in Wimbledon. I mean, the courts are great and probably it's the most uh, prestigious event in tennis. So I hope I can go further than last year, but uh, still expectations on grass are not that big. Over on the women's side and Serena Williams is still one slam away from equaling Steffi Graf's record of 22 in the Open era. And she sees Wimbledon as the perfect place to achieve the milestone. I feel great when I'm back here at Wimbledon and London and, you know, just getting on that grass is something that I absolutely adore and I feel really excited about. So it's something that I'm really looking forward to. Williams was well beaten in both major finals so far this year. And despite no Maria Sharapova in the draw, there's no shortage of possible threats to her title. Monday will see the gates open and the start of tens of thousands of fans pouring through the Wimbledon gates with more champions to be crowned at the end of the two weeks.